These are the next GameStop and AMC. With meme stocks trending again, these are the next stocks that could explode. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. The Bean Pod is presented by Dowmaker, the top crypto launchpad in the industry. Dowmaker allows people to participate in top crypto projects before they launch and generate some of the best returns you can find anywhere. They also provide growth solutions for crypto projects that are looking for funding and assistance with marketing. With their revolutionary new public strongholder offerings, everyone can get early access to top crypto projects regardless of their net worth. Dowmaker is rapidly disrupting the venture capital industry. If you're interested, head over to dowmaker.com to learn more. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. With meme stocks trending again, like AMC and GameStop, we are about to tell you the next ones that could explode. We've gone through all the top social media stocks, the ones that are trending, and these are going to be moonshots. Yeah, so we got some really important names to talk about on this episode. You know, the stock market is a lot more fun, obviously, when things are going up, when these new names are coming around. These could be some short-term plays that could potentially print some cash, right? I had a lot of fun, you know, going through Twitter, going through Yahoo, seeing what everybody's talking about, getting some statistics and seeing, oh my God, I think the short squeeze is coming again. And if you saw what happened in May when yeah. they fucking launched. They ripped. AMC ripped. Yeah. So what we've done is we've gone through Reddit, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. We found all the stocks that are now starting to build up a little bit of steam, they're all usually backed by like a little bit of a catalyst, right? There's something in the pipeline, a big piece of news. Maybe the company is, you know, it's a funny name, whatever it is, right? But, you know, whatever it, whatever it is, these things can rip. So let's jump into it. First of all, GameStop and AMC, right? What's going yeah. on there? So basically, I, I think what's happening again, it's another short squeeze. There's a lot of short interest. So what ends up happening is because these companies are shorting the stock, you have all these retailers piling in. And then because these hedge funds are expecting the stock to go down, they now have to cover their position. So to cover their position, they then have to start buying. So now you have all these retailers buying. Then you have the hedge funds trying to cover their positions, sending the price even further. So what I think sparked this one recently was the SEC came out with a plan saying that hedge funds now have to disclose their short positions. They haven't fully put this plan into place yet, but they can tell by the retail sentiment in the market and they're using technology to, to feel the vibe. Right. What are, what, what are the retailers thinking? And then when they say, when they release this article saying that the SEC is now going to start cracking down on these hedge funds, it's like retail thought, okay, great. They're not going to be shorting anymore. What did they do? They start to short because the plan hasn't been executed yet. All these AMC and GameStop monkeys jumped in again and the price is now starting to take off. Love it. Everyone's aping in. That's what they're doing. Interesting, interesting. So right off the bat, other than obviously GameStop and AMC, which are, you know, the leaders in the meme stocks genre, you have the, the classic other names who ripped quite a bit last year. So we have BlackBerry, Nokia, then Koss and CLOV, Clover, right? Yeah. Those are kind of like the, the Robins to AMC's and GameStop's Batman. So exactly. definitely look at those names. Those I actually played those early, or last year, made a bit of money, but you can already see them starting to curl, right? Mm-hmm. So... It's kind of like what it floats the entire boat, right? Yeah. When there's a, a chip shortage, all the semiconductor stocks do well. When there's a short squeeze happening with one or two of these big names, oh, let's start to look at what other names might have done the exact same thing during the same period of time. Right. Bed Bath and Beyond. Yep. BlackBerry. These are all companies that you know. BlackBerry, for example, they're what are they doing? They had they had the BlackBerry. They're doing amazing for so long. Mm -hmm. Nothing really coming out. Stock should be doing poorly. Heavily so shorted. Heavily shorted. Yep. Creating these short squeezes. I did just buy a great nude pillow from Bed Bath & Beyond, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And I think the saying is, a rising tide lifts all boats. That's the one I was like, what? That's the saying, yeah, yeah. right. Um, so, yeah. So, GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, Bed Bath & Beyond, Nokia, Koss, and Clove. Those are the ones that are kind of, you can find those anywhere, right? Mm. But what we're going to do in today's episode is talk about the under, the hidden gems, right? That's our mm. specialty, the hidden gems. Yeah. So, what, what hidden gems did you find? Um, <clears throat> so there was one called ready capital trades under the ticker RC. Basically they came out and announced a dividends, which is pretty freaking high. This was trending everywhere. The social media score was through the roof. 
Um, they're offering 42 cents per share on the quarterly, quarterly divs. If, as long as you hold the stock by March 30th, you'll get paid on April 29th. Interesting. 42 cents for every share that you hold by That's this crazy. date. So I think everybody's like, holy shit, this yeah, is yeah. massive, right? Interesting. This is a real estate financing company for medium uh, sized commercial loans. All right. I'm thinking the reason why this is attracting some attention right now, obviously with the inflation, rising interest rates, I think there's going to be a uh, premium on borrowing. So maybe they're factoring right. this in. Something we've talked about on this podcast a lot. Yeah. So I think that's why this one's picking up. And with that super high divs. Interesting. Interesting. So I, I kind of found a sector that I think could be the next meme stock sector. And it, it goes back to what exactly we were just talking about. Heavily shorted companies that people are, think are going to zero. Mm. And it's Chinese stocks. If you think about what's happened with Chinese stocks over the last while, you've had regulations come in. You've had delisting from the stock market. Uh, the market, market cap of Alibaba has been absolutely crushed. So people are assuming all these Chinese stocks, they're going to get de- delisted. People are shorting these like crazy. But what you've seen over the last couple of weeks or maybe weeks since this meme stock thing has started to come is these Chinese companies are curling. And when these things fly, these things rip. Right. So look at Alibaba, but that's a, that's a large cap. So it's, you know, it could rip, but it's already quite expensive. So here are the Chinese stock names you have to put on your watch list. IQ. It's the YouTube of China. You have Huya, which is the Twitch of China, H-U-Y-A. PDD is the Pinterest of China. You see, what it's, yeah, they yeah, just copy yeah. the American companies, <laughs> but you know, they have a big population. These companies are still making money. Mm. Um, and there's another interesting one, which I saw, which is really generating a lot of buzz on Twitter. It's ZME. It's online education for China. And you look at these charts and these things are in the pits, you know, up from a high of, say, for example, 60 down to $3. Right. That is in the pits. Yeah. And people are still shorting them, right? So what we've seen over the stock market is growth tech just get absolutely crushed over the last six months, mm-hmm. three months. But now as sentiment is shifting and the meme stock things is coming back, these growth tech companies can triple, quadruple within a few weeks, a month. So I'm looking at those Chinese stock names. We have seen that a bit with like what we we're talking about, an upstart, square, block, you know, some of these tech companies we talked yep. about in previous episodes. They haven't been down. So they get to a price where you just can't ignore it anymore. It's like, these are real companies. They're doing real things. The price is not, ma- the price is not matching 100%. what the company is actually doing, you know? And Baba, you mentioned Baba. They actually increased their share buyback program from 15 billion to 25 billion. They know. They're buying back $25 billion <laughs> worth of shares. Because the shares are so cheap right Man, now, right? That's crazy. They know when the time is right. These, you know, there's always the insider information. Ooh. We always talk about insider buys. That's a sign. Yeah, definitely. Big time sign. Um, no, that's really good. I'm, I'm afraid of those stocks. You know, anything over in China? I don't know what's, what's yeah. happening over there. You know, you got to be staying awake for certain hours of the, the night and whatnot to really be tracking what's for going sure. on. <laughs> um, I actually wrote the hype up on some of these Chinese stocks when I first started getting into Did investing you? years ago. IQ and Huya made, made great money on that. Shout out to my brother. Um, but <laughs> they could be coming back again here. <laughs> Where you can just buy them regularly? Yeah, or? they're all in the NASDAQ. Okay, yeah, 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 cool, cool. I like it. Um, another company I found was called Dragonfly. Spelled with an A. So it's not Dragon. It's Dragon. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Okay, yeah. This is a Canadian company. They have a... Um, <clears throat> basically, what happened was... Obviously, there's a war going on over in Europe, if you're unfamiliar with. Mm-hmm. Uh, the US is now sending $800 million worth of weapons over to support. So they're not actually fighting the war, but they're sending military equipment over to support, right? This includes drones. So we talk about the rising tide lifting all boats. Well, there's another company in Canada that is also sending over 200 units worth of drones. And they're going to be able to carry like 25 pounds worth of medical supplies and whatnot. Interesting. Yeah. So this thing is now started. It's trending everywhere. So it's the 200 units is just like a test. If they start to get more orders coming through, it could send us could send the share price to the roof. Very good. I like it. I like it. Right. All right. So when I found, and this this fits in with the narrative of companies that aren't doing well, potential bankruptcy, heavily shorted. So this company is called Mulan Automotive. The ticker is M U L N. Oh yeah. Um, this company is generating no revenue. It's like you know the next Nikola. <clears throat> They've got plans to build these cars or whatever, but nothing's happening. All of a sudden, they had a feature on this prominent car magazine, Car Buzz. And they've updated their roadmap. And this thing is obviously heavily shorted. People think it's going to zero. But with this little catalyst has now gone viral on social media, the stock is going out of control. 
I mean, it's just kind of, again, the, the chart is going up from here and it's just curling. And I see this thing on Twitter. It's trending on Reddit. It's trending on Wall Street Bets. M-U-L-N. You know, if this thing continues, this is a name to watch. Yeah, definitely. I saw that one out there. Yeah. And it gave me... Gave me the Nikola vibes. Could be a p- p- guy holding yeah, a piece of paper, or like workhorse. <laughs> you know, like it's it's these weird names. Yeah. <laughs> um, another one I want to mention quickly, and I have been on this one in our Discord, and I think we're, I'm up about forty percent since the call is BBIG. Oh yeah, Vinco Ventures. Um, it went on a bit of a run, maybe a few months ago. Um, what they're doing, their catalyst is that they're trying to, or they are going to be acquiring a TikTok competitor in India. TikTok is banned in India, right? Mm-hmm. So it could be an actually money generating business, but something about this stock, it goes viral on Twitter and people just dive into it. Um, I said, look on discord and on Twitter, I was like, this thing's curling. Boom. It's, it's ripping. I still think there could be a lot of room. So BBIG, a name to check out. Is Zach Morris play? That is a Zach Morris play. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we could put CEI in that yeah, yeah, yeah. category as well, which has also been fun. I had that on my list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Cause it's a green energy. That's play. carbon capture, carbon capture, play carbon or? capture, green energy play. Um, it, that thing went crazy. So this guy, Zach Morris, has like, what, 600,000 or a million followers on Twitter. He is the ultimate pump and dumper yep. of stocks. But he he made his name earlier on in, what, stock twits or fin twits or something like yep. that. And he had some epic calls at the beginning. And now every everybody's attached themselves to any time he makes a call because you know that everybody's going to jump in. So if you can get in really early on when he makes his, like, his For little, sure. drops his seeds, yep. you know it's going to rip. So you have these plays like CEI, BBIG that have kind of stayed in people. Maybe Wish will come back. <laughs> what a bomb. His worst call ever, Wish. Yeah. <laughs> he is under investigation by the SEC now and he's fleed to Mexico. So just that that is the caveat you need to know about Zach Morris. <laughs> but check his Twitter out. There's some interesting calls in there for sure. Yeah. All the semiconductor stocks have been on fire as well lately. Um, you know, you got AMD, NVIDIA, ON Semiconductor. Not only is there a absolute crisis or a shortage you know that you look at something like tesla unable to build out their smart cars which are under such heavy demand right now because of the price of oil but you also have this gaming sector and the virtual reality and the metaverse all needing these components for semiconductors right um so <clears throat> nvidia just announced um a new chip that will help speed up ai computing quantum like computing it. yeah like so it. and they also landed a partnership with Lucid Automotive, oh, yeah. which is guaranteed $11 billion worth of revenue over the upcoming years. So now they're fact. So basically investors are f- pricing in the fact that they have guaranteed revenue coming through plus the ship sh- chip shortage. It's lifting all the other semiconductor uh, boats out there. I as like well. it. I do yeah. own NVIDIA stock. So hopefully yeah. that, that turns out. Um, I know this is one that you probably have in your list as well. It's showing up all over social media. Tilray. Oh yeah, totally. So right, weed yeah. stocks, weed stocks have been absolutely crushed. They are in the pits. They are in despair any way you look at it, right? But again, with these growth, these growth names that are trending, we've already seen it was at Sundial. Sundial was Sundial the, the meme stock from yeah. the 2021 boom. Weed stocks could maybe start to have a little bit of a trend here. Tilray's always a name that even though they aren't really a great company, it always trends. I feel like investors or retail investors will always go back to the watering hole. For sure. It's like, oh, I know this one. This one did well. Yep. I'll buy that again. That's it. They don't want to do, you don't want to do any research into the company. <laughs> but as funny as it is, there is money to be made. You have to be in and out, right? You have to be really, really quick with this. I would put Tilray and Sundial on your watch list for sure. It's kind of like what? A three like I don't know, it could be like a three day hold, a week hold, yeah, a two week. week hold. Who knows? You know what I mean? Like, as soon as it has that, you know, hundred and fifty percent day, you sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Get out. That's it. Um yeah, I guess what what else do we have? Like Virgin Galactic Space. Oh yeah, is another one that's going on. That one's heavily being down. I think they had some issues in terms of the launch and actually getting people into space. It right. t- seems like a pretty uh, far fetched idea, I guess. <laughs> and so, I get, people are shorting that one as well. Um, that's also seeing a lot of attention at the moment. I got an interesting one for you. I think I'm going to convince you to buy this stock. All right. So this is if you think about the most meta Wall Street bets possible short squeeze play. It's Robinhood, the oh, Robinhood yeah. stock, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And here's my thesis for why Robinhood is an interesting play right now. And I think I might also convince myself to buy the stock. Okay. Not only, so the cryptocurrency markets and stock markets have been crushed over the past three to six months, right? Volume is low. People are not using apps like Robinhood. Robinhood is a fresh IPO that has absolutely tanked, right? The price is <clears throat> down 90% since IPO call it. 
But I think as markets turn and people go back into, into buying stocks and trading crypto, new user signups and activity on Robinhood is going to fly again. Mm. Plus, it's heavily shorted because people don't like the company. Right. And this whole thing that happened with GameStop and AMC was all based around Robinhood. They stopped the trading. It was all around Robinhood. So I think it would just be a perfect cherry on top of the <laughs> Wall Street bets and meme stock mania if Robinhood went on a crazy meme stock run. Huge pump and dump. Yeah. They would hate that, but love it. You know what I mean? I mm. think it, the narrative for me fits so well that I think it could be worth a gamble. Definitely. I mean, it ties right into AMC and GameStop. I just wonder how, how bit. How bitter are the AMC and GameStop people that they wouldn't even invest in it? Yeah. You know I mean, how many people left the platform? But you're right. I'm like, this is a defi- definitely a cherry on, the, on top of the cake. Yeah. It's and a- I would love to see that happen. <laughs> I think it's a name to watch for me. And, and meme stock aside, I think my, my idea about their business model and revenue is going up. Yeah. So I think um, not the worst idea. If the stock market keeps doing what it's been doing over the past month and, you know, people start jumping back into mm-hmm. the stock market again. Could see some serious activity. Yep. Uh, a couple of other funnier names that I found. Um, this company called Wheels Up. The ticker is up. It's the Uber for private airplanes and flights and stuff like that. <laughs> like for the for oh, Uber rich people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this thing is trending on social media, trending on Reddit, trending on Twitter. Again, absolutely crushed. It's a ridiculous company. Mm. But like that's the kind of company that you want to look for with these things, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's one up. And then I also have, um, remember 23andMe? Yeah, remember? I, saw that, I saw, that, saw that trending as well. Why, yeah. why is that? What's going on with 23andMe? It's, being, it's a former SPAC. Got absolutely destroyed after it went public. Remember, we were in that SPAC. What was yeah. it called? I can't remember uh, what it was. I don't recall. V something. <sighs> VGAC? VGAC. VGAC. Maybe VGAC, yeah. So 23andMe, it's like a com- competitor to Ancestry and Ancestry.com. They do your genetics and your family history. I guess they're making money. It is a real company, obviously. Um, but the company has been absolutely crushed. It's kind of one of those trending names because people know it. Mm. So I would say put that on your watch list. It might not be as trendy as some so of the you, earlier ones. You can like send in your data, your DNA, and figure out if you're going to get like Crohn's disease. Yeah, or something I don't like want to know that. Like, nah. That's why I did Ancestry.com <laughs> instead. My results are coming. <laughs> yeah, sick. Um, yeah, so that's the list. Uh, I think, honestly, if, if GameStop and AMC continue the way they are going, some of these names will go to the moon. Yeah, so AMC is still tr- trading well below where it was in may of 2021 mm. uh i did scoop some up at around 19 dollars this morning or 1940 so i'm on i've aped in yeah you're aped in you know, hands. i think i'm already up like 10 percent or something like that yeah, yeah. so i'm happy Look, i'm looking for 150 yeah okay so price targets and amc <laughs> yeah i love it awesome so, well, i think that's a good point to wrap it up yeah hey make sure you guys all tune into the next episode yeah and make sure to subscribe because that one's gonna be a banger All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.